Right, so today I'm going to be looking at Vradok's Revenge. This is the latest and greatest from Sanchez Crew. And um, it was released, or a build was released a few days ago um, for Patreon backers, of which I am one. So, no doubt you'll have seen this, because uh, Sanchez Crew have provided a lot of... Uh, work in progress stuff uh, over the last many months. Um, it's a nice little intro here, just laying the land, what's going on. So we have some options here. I have had a little go of this before, so we get the continue option. Um, but also we have settings. Um, now, you may have noticed while watching demos of this that you do need kind of a keyboard and mouse really because you're moving your character around with the keyboard and then of course you are aiming and shooting with the mouse. And as you can see here we've got the uh, WASD keys. Um, we can also use mouse left right button and mouse wheel as well uh, to fire and we've also got uh, the ability to look at the map and of course we have the redefine keys option. I'm kind of happy though with the way things are um, by default so I'm going to start a new game. This game is lovely and slick. I'm capturing it though on um, a capture card and Sometimes the capture cards don't do a game justice or the scrolling isn't as smooth as it is actually on the next. Um, and I tend to find at 50 hertz the capture card doesn't do as good a job as it may do at say 60 hertz. So if you do see some juddering, um, it's more the capture card than the game. As you can see here, the graphics are just beautiful. Um, and as I move the cursor with the mouse, you can see that it scrolls the screen a little bit as well. Um, I do need to get myself another mouse mat here because my mouse is very slippery on the table. Um, so yeah this is this is frenetic or it does get frenetic anyway. So you move WASD and then of course I am targeting with the mouse and then collecting the coins. Coins let you buy more powerful spells and such. Um, there are also some creatures I've found, or at least I don't think you can kill them. Um, I've tried hitting those spiky things a lot in the past and uh, I've never been able to kill one. Um, so at the moment I've got my fireball on the first button and I've got this kind of lightning thing on the second button. It's more of kind of a uh, an area effect weapon is on the second mouse button. These little buggers fling rocks at you. Um, and you've got a really handy map as well. Uh, sometimes it's good to run away and shoot um, before these little things get too close to you. The coins do disappear though after a few seconds, so you need to be quick in order to grab them. And then you've got chests where you've got, in this case, uh, extra health. Um, you can also get extra mana, which of course is your, your magic capability. Um, you can also turn auto fire on if you want, that was with the R key. But uh, presumably that would kind of exhaust your mana eventually. I don't really know what happens when you run out of that. Bastard. <laughs> Bit like TJ there. Bastard. That's extra money there, another 930 coins. So as I say, M brings up the map view, you can kind of see where you've been. Um, I'm in the little blue there. Um, there's a little flashing yellow thing there, so I'm just going to kind of go around here and then come back and go up, I think. My shooting is atrocious. Let's 
it really is a beautiful mechanic. Um, you know, having the combined keyboard and mouse, it just it almost feels like you're playing Doom or something. You know, having that, having both your hands uh, doing something. And here we have a shop. Um, let's get rid of that. I don't really have an awful lot of money at the moment. Um, I just pop to the shop. You'll see here that we can get extra mana for a thousand. Um, there are also new spells: Icicle, God Spark, Plasmoid, um, Fire Gel, Vortex. You know, so there's a uh, plenty of uh, variety and such in the spells. Um, I'm nowhere near that level yet, anyway to have the kind of money to pay for those things. Oh, there's more money there. So I haven't really had to rely much on my secondary fire. Things haven't really gotten crazy yet. Um, but there are things like end of level bosses, you know, big things and such. I tend to hold on to that kind of magic till then. And I'm no good at these kinds of games, you know. My reflexes are not what they used to be. My ability to hit the button really fast, I mean, yeah, I could just switch auto fire on, I guess. But map again. So I just need to go over here and then I'll come back and I'll fill in those black areas. Oh, shit. Big boss. Lots of blobs, lots of blobs. Ah. <laughs> Not it. This is why I need the mouse mat because my mouse is slipping off the table in all the excitement. Ah, bollocks. Anyway, I didn't want to show you too much of the game and spoil the surprises in there. Um, it's a great game though, it's really slick, it's polished, the graphics are lovely, the music's lovely, the mechanics are lovely. This is definitely a worthwhile addition to any next collection.